Hello everyone, meet on AK7 LCD projector, a budget 1080p projector with 5800 lumens, 15000 to 1 dynamic contrast ratio and electronic keystone correction. Great for both game and movie. Better than previous model, AK6. Let's find out now. Build quality is decent with glossy plastic housing, bigger than I expected. There are main lens and IR receiver in the front. Do check out the nice fabric cover too. You can adjust focus point manually. No hardware vertical keystone. Here are the navigation buttons that control the projector and power LED lights on the top. At the back, there are two USB ports, two HDMI ports, SPDRF and AUX audio inputs, IR receiver and AC power input. Two speakers are hidden above them, followed by fan and hissing at lower part of the projector. Two long anti ski pad at the bottom to provide stability, and one per 4 inch mount size for stand or ceiling. For accessories, here is the must have remote control for navigation. For video input, there is HDMI cable. Four types of power plug to choose, AU, EU, UK or US. A cleaning cloth for lens. Finally, two red and blue 3D glasses. That's all. A key 7 supports screen size from 60 inch to 300 inch. Suitable for both day and night. As usual, the smaller screen you have, the brighter screen you will get. 150 inch screen size performs best in low light environment. Picture quality, color and contrast are much better than. Yes, it is loaded with 4-way electronic keystone correction. Up to 25 degree can be adjusted in each way. As usual, direct projection has the best image quality. Just like other budget projectors, you can play videos directly with the built-in media player. Just plug in USB hard drive will do. Share all your precious photos with friends and family members easily. The built-in speakers are excellent, loud and clear. No external speakers are needed. You can play around with the EQ setting too. It is a quiet projector. You won't hear fan noise during music or movie playback. Let's have a look on the built-in navigation panel. Feel free to configure the projector yourself, play around with it and set the best settings for your preference. Simple and easy to control. By the way, you might want to check out my AK7 projector calibration guide to get the best image quality out of it too. It is still okay to use it for some office works. Texts are clear in the middle, but getting blurred at the corners. Lost to a key 6 for sure. Brightness is dimmer than a key 6 as well.
It may not have the best image quality, but color are excellent after calibrated. Was hoping it has better optic image quality or at least on par with a key 6. No 24Hz refresh rate support. Movie lovers do take note. Beside that, it is performing well on highlights and shadows. Accurate colors output. Glad to know that 60Hz is performing well. Just look at this 4K 60 frame per second video. Surely better than a key 6 this round. Yes, 50Hz is supported. Great for those who love to watch Chinese TV dramas. As usual, just copy them into USB flash drive and enjoy them directly through the built-in media player. Another big yes for gaming. A key 7 performs well in input lag tests. FYI, this video clip is 5x lower than the usual one. You will notice input lag in real time. As usual, Pingball is used to test projector gaming ability. You can see its smoothness with the ball movement. Perfectly smooth is what you get. Uh, how are you today, Mr. Patient? Arcade games perform well too. Do take note that the sound is from the internal speakers. Excellent sound for a budget projector.
well, that's all for Ant's AK7 projector review. In short, it has excellent colors, loud and clear dual speaker, great for both video and games. By the way, do check out my top projector chart too. You will find the one that suits your needs. And please use my referral link to buy one to support my effort. Don't forget to thumb up too. Thanks. I'm Jace. Glad to see you around. Peace.